So a more appropriate way to get at our statistics of risk are to include covariance and correlation. So I'm going to uh, copy this sheet. I'm going to remove the weighted standard deviation from this. We're going to calculate correlation and covariance. The correlation in Excel will use the Corel function. So this is looking at how the two data sets move together. So we'll highlight the A data and the B data. And you see we get negative 97.41%. Okay, so they kind of move opposite of each other, almost complete opposite. Another measure that kind of helps us get at this too is something called covariance, so how they covariate together. So this would be covariance.s for the sample. Highlight the same arrays. You'll see we get negative 0 0.00995. So very, very small covariance, but it is negative, just like the correlation. Now to calculate and to look at various uh, standard deviations and maybe trying to get at this idea of what a minimum is to minimize the risk of this portfolio, we're going to calculate some weights for A, B, and then demonstrate our function for the portfolio standard deviation. So this will be equal if A is 100%, then there is nothing in uh, B, so this is going to be 100% minus what it was in the previous. And then we'll have 90%. So I'll drag that down. Work that. So now to calculate what is our formula for the portfolio standard deviation, it's equal to the following. It's the square root of a bit of weight squared, so carrot 2 times B8 anchored, I need the square of that, so the variance, plus B14 carat 2 times C8, stop B standard deviation anchored, carat 2, plus 2 times A14 times B14 times B10, which is the covariance. You also could have done, uh, that is the covariance is equal to um, the uh, standard deviations. So you could have, instead of B10, you could have done uh, B8 times B9 times uh, C9. And that will give you the exact same answer. So I'll demonstrate that real quick. So let's hit this formula. Percentage, we'll send this down. Oops. So let's make sure everything is anchored appropriately. So B8, C8, ah, B10 should also be anchored. There we go, so now I'll send that down. Perfect. So the covariance, the other way to calculate this would just been the sum, uh, product of these three. You can see that's the exact same thing. Okay. So, um, one other thing to note here to kind of demonstrate if I graphed all of this. Um, so if I, I'll just show this for percentage invested in B. You can kind of see it looks like this. So the more diversification we have by increasing that percentage, and then it kind of flips up. Um, if I wanted to actually get the minimum uh, standard deviation of this portfolio, what I could do is go to solver so data solver i want to minimize that value by changing the weights and then there's some constraints we'll make everything non-negative uh, let's just attempt to solve this and see what we get 
Okay, so that did not work. So let's go back to solver. One constraint we need to make is that these, um, let me actually cancel. Let's see, I'll do, I think I can do this constraint, so I'll add. So those two need to be um, equal to one or 100%. All right, so that won't work. So we're gonna have just a helper cell here. This will be the sum of those. This sum has to be added to 100%. We'll try that as a constraint, and then that has to be equal to one. Add and click OK. Now try to solve again. And you see they were pretty close with the 50 50, but 54% A and 46% in B, given uh, the constraints, will minimize the standard deviation of that uh, portfolio. Now, also, this is not including the um, actual correlation in that. So that's one way. If I go back and I did solver and I'm going to um, maybe minimize that. Actually, so let me, before I mess this up, let me, I'm going to, uh, let me close out of this. So this will be equal to the sum of those two and that's gonna take with 100%. If I wanted to solve that for here, this would be, so we're going to set objective minimized by changing these two, subject to uh, that equaling one. So if I solve that, you can see that it's still basically 54 and 46. It's still pretty close.